What's going on? It's your boy coming at you with another video. And today I'm going to do a comparison for these uh, fidget spinners right here to see which does price matter. At least what I've discovered so far. Um, Alright, so before I even do anything, I, did, I, I, I forgot to say it in the last video between these two here, which one was painted and which one is actually heat treated the three dollar one is heat treated this one is painted because if you look close you can see where it's chipping off this is actually some type of paint coating and this is actually heat treated i've dropped this one and it's scratched up and you can tell it's scratched up a little bit if you look closely enough you can see some of the scratches on it and dings and stuff and as you can see that you don't see any of the metal underneath which you don't see any metal underneath it which means it's not coated it's heat treated this one's um painted because in certain places on it like right here this is not even green this is like the tip of it is not green the tip of it's silver that's because some of the paints come off and in certain other places like mostly mainly the buttons and like right here you can see where the paint's chipping or well not even chipping it seems like they missed it and it's never was any paint there or it kind of looks like it's fading um so yeah this one is painted and that one's heat treated um all right so the one i'm going to start off with is my brass one but before i even do that i'm going to give you all some prices from the least to the greatest um this one is was three dollars six dollars eight eight and fifteen uh, well when i do the spin test this one's not gonna count all right so i'm gonna tell you up front how long this one spins this one spins for a minute and 24 seconds for one minute and 24 seconds so i'm not going to do a spin test but i'm just going to hear just how cool it sounds yeah sounds good but when i do a spin test i'm not doing it because i don't have anything to sit it on and i'm not going to be able to spin all of them while holding it i don't have anything i can sit it on to do the spin test so so <laughs> you thought I'd be a clear it excuse me excuse me um on first on to my brass one this I spent eight dollars on it was eight dollars straight it used to spin for a long time but after a while it seems like it just really slow down it's really cool because the arms can come off of it um, some people I've seen on YouTube have the one that's like $45 I actually do want to get that one the expensive one for that one I want to get an expensive version of this one and this one just to see if it's if the higher end version is better than the cheaper counterpart of the same type um, this spins for about a minute and 40 seconds oh well, it could last time i did it it spun for like a minute and 30 seconds so i don't know maybe the bearings maybe i need a new bearing maybe the bearing needs some lube or oil or whatever oh uh, they say you use a. Excuse me. They say you speed cream, so I have to get some of that and see. And um, or I might have to just clean it out. Um. What is that? Um. Two minutes and fifty six seconds. Tested it again, and it got to two minutes and fifty six seconds. Well, when I first got it, when I first got it, got it, first got it, it spun for four minutes and 58 seconds 
almost five minutes. Spun for four minutes and 58 seconds, but it, it might have been because it was brand new and probably still had a lot of, it might have had lube in it. But after I took the caps off to look at what kind of bearing it had in it, once I put the caps back on, it, it's like it took away a lot of that. I don't know, maybe it had an air seal. Maybe it was air sealed or something in there. I don't know what they had in there, whatever happened. Once I took the caps out, it dramatically slowed it down to where now it, it only gets between... I got to get to three minutes one time. When I spun it really hard, it got to three minutes and two seconds. Um, it, it only gave it a couple extra seconds. So, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. For whatever reason, when I took the caps off, just check the bearing out. I don't know what it is, because now it's not. It doesn't move. It doesn't go all the way to five to four minutes and something anymore. So, so it, you know, four minutes and fifty eight seconds down to two minutes and fifty six seconds, which is not bad. According to a lot of fidget piece enthusiasts, if it goes, if you if you can get two minutes and something, it's a pretty decent fidget spinner. Um, this one, when I first got it, like I said, it could it this one when I first got it was getting, th was getting between two and three, um, depending on how hard I spun it because it is really heavy. So to get that three minute, you had to put a little bit of muscle to it. To keep it, to make sure it didn't slow down, you had to put a little bit of muscle to it. Um, now, even with a hard spin, I'm only getting like two minutes in, like two minutes and five seconds. Um, one time I had to go to two minutes and like thirteen seconds, but never past that anymore. It's like whatever, whatever's going on. The bearing probably just needs to be cleaned. I probably just need to take the bearing all the way apart and clean it out. It's it something's rattling when it spins. Um, maybe one of the ball the bear the ball bearings may have chipped or something. Cause when I spin it, it's like a rattling, grinding noise inside of it. Um, and that that. And I looked at some people say that that means there could be an issue with the bearing. I have other bearings, so I may take the bearing, the, one of the other bearings, and put it in there, and and then see uh, what's going on. That's might be what I'm doing because one of the other bearings I had, I had from a cheap fidget spinner I got out of CVS, and it cracked. But that fidget spinner actually could get three minutes and twenty seconds. That's really good. It got to three minutes and thirty seconds. I'm gonna put it in this one because I don't have a bearing big enough to fit that one yet. I might get some for these two. Well, this one doesn't come out at all. The caps come off, but the bearing doesn't come out. It's like they welded it in there. So I would have to heat this up to get the bearing out, and I don't have time to do that. This one I feel like will come out. It's gonna take some finesse, but it will come out. Um, I feel like getting this one out will, it will actually be easier for me to take it all the way apart before I try to get it in there. Before I try to get in there and get it out. Um, so yeah. This one uses some really tiny bearings, as you can see. Um, the bearing inside of this one, it comes out, but it's, it's like I said, it's, it's like these two, it's small. Um... This one here is getting two minutes, maybe two minutes flat. But um, I'm gonna spin them all and see. I'm just gonna give them all a light spin because I only have one hand. So yeah. This is all slowing down. It's slowing down. So, 
You can see they all look pretty cool. This one looks extremely cool because you can see the holes of all the skin. Man. Stopped. Did you see it stopped? Ended up. I don't know. I'm not even counting, but it stopped before the rest of them. It's out. It's out already. This one's gonna stop because I didn't even spin it that hard. Because my hand kind of slipped off of it. When I, was, when I was trying to spin it, it kind of slipped off. But as you see, that stopped. Yeah. This one goes. This is two minutes and something. I forgot that this one is. That's why I said it. It, it, it can reach two minutes. That's why I said it just reaches two minutes. Because I, I can't remember the rest of it. But yeah, that one's. Spins faster. These two are pretty even. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was gonna stop. But like I said, yeah, I didn't get my hand slipped off when I tried to spin that one. As you saw, when I tried to spin it, my finger kind of slipped. So I didn't get a good, accurate spin. Um, to be honest. The one that feels like it's the has the most quality to it is this one. It's not just because it's my favorite right now. It's my I love the way it looks. It's not just because it's my favorite, because it actually is more quality. And as you can hear the metal one. If you can hear it. I'm actually gonna knock it against something. That's an actual different metal. So I'm gonna use my balance saw, which I have sitting here, so you can. Yeah, you can hear how what the, what the freak is that? Yeah, this definitely sounds like some type of solid, like a more solid metal. Definitely, this is just solid brass. I mean, the guy, the, when I got this from the seller, it literally says, Solid Brass Fidget Spinner. This is Solid Brass. That's just milled out. It used to be so good, but now it's not good anymore. It kind of hurts to see that this thing is going downhill. Well, for right now, with the, at least with the cheaper fidget spinners, it seems like price does not determine quality. Um, with the at least with the cheap ones, I'm not gonna say with all of them because I'm I, I haven't I don't own any of the other ones, so I'm not gonna say for sure that price doesn't matter when it comes to all of them, but it definitely doesn't matter when you look at something simple like the um, when looking at something as simple as the um, freaking price for at least for the um, cheaper ones price does not determine um, speed the price does not determine quality because like I said this one this is eight dollars and it's painted this is, I spent three dollars on this and this is a heat treated so hey sometimes you pay less and get more sometimes you pay more and get less it all depends on what you're looking at and where you're getting it from. Because maybe if I would have bought this from one like this from a more reputable place, it probably would have been heat treated. I probably can get one of these off eBay for around the same price that is heat treated. So I probably could have waited and got it from a better place. But it really doesn't matter to be honest because... Um, because it's just something to keep you focused. They are pretty good, and I wouldn't. But I still, like I said, I wouldn't say go spend. <sighs> excuse me. I would. I still wouldn't say go spend two or three hundred dollars on a fidget spinner unless it's completely custom. I mean, you. And when I say custom, I don't mean you get to put some engravings on it or anything. I mean like you get to create your own new shape that does not exist and will not ever be on the market. Now, if it's that case, there's a company that will allow you to make your own unique fidget spinner, including your own unique shape that they are not allowed to replicate, then I would say, yes, 
go ahead. It's it's unique, and you're going to be the only one in the world that owns it. So yes, if it was that case where I could make up my own fidget spinner like that with the shape and all, I probably would spend three hundred dollars because no one in the world will ever have it. It's custom. It's your own design that you have, and no one else can get it. So, yeah, that would be worth it if no one else could get their hands on it. Um, but other than that, it's not worth it. Um, I seen one that was a that had 18 karat gold on it. it. Was one that had diamonds on it. And to me, I don't need all that on my fidget spinner. It's it's called fidget for a reason. You just play with it and toy around with it because you have nothing else to do. So, yeah. But that's it for this video, man. I just wanted to show y'all a little experiment that I did so far in my trials with the, with the fidget spinners and stuff. Just to get y'all an idea of what we're looking at and if price really matters. So far, right now, price does not matter. Um, and that's only because I've been lucky enough to get a, a cheap, a really, really dirt cheap fidget spinner. $3 is really cheap to pay for a fidget spinner that's not from China. This I didn't order this from overseas. I ordered this from a guy in Texas. In Texas. And he shipped it to me. Um... I didn't get a cheap $1 one or 99 cent one. People say that, you, that there are some stores that sell fidget spinners for 99 cent. I don't know where that's at because all the fidget spinners I've seen here in Illinois cost you between 7 and $8. Some stores even charge $15 for them. There are some fidget spinners that are in Walmart that are $4.99 all the way up to $10.99. You're looking at 11 bucks for a fidget spinner. I've seen them in stores for 15 bucks. The, the emoji ones are, are expensive. The only emoji one I've seen was in a Walmart. It was not, well, not Walmart. It was in a Walgreens downtown. They didn't even last that long. People were actually buying them. And they were like 15 bucks. <laughs> like, y'all are really about y'all fidget spinners. To spend $15 on one. Like, just, just to straight up spend one on it. It wasn't even, it wasn't even nothing special about it. It just had emojis on it. That's crazy. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Um, I'm going to let y'all be breezy. And I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the two cool, you know, on the screen. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to stack them up. You know. I'm going to head and let y'all get on up out of here. And stay tuned for more. Peace.